What's up guys? My name's Devin and yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video. Please, I love feedback, let me know how it goes. So yeah, but right now I'm going to my dad's. I have not worked on my Chevy since honestly I started nursing school. So about a year ago when I first moved here, I got the truck down here in Florida, got it and put it back in the corner and I feel so bad. Um, Haven't seen it, haven't looked at it. I'm gonna go see how bad it is, if I can even get it out. When I originally got the truck, the guy told me that it threw a rod. I didn't care, my plan was to LS swap it anyways, but uh, plans have changed uh, budget-wise. I think I'm gonna actually do a 350 small block swap, maybe. Maybe do a 454, I don't know. Please leave a comment if you guys feel I should LS swap it, 350 swap it. Anything helps, guys. Uh, but yeah, getting ready to pull up to my dad's now and see how bad it is. I have not seen the truck, like I said, in about a year little nervous because he's got a lot of water and yeah and when I got this truck guys originally paid a couple hundred bucks for it wasn't something I was like planning on doing quick so I was gonna take my time with the truck but you know I really think this would be a great build for the channel and yeah here we go so let's check it out big overgrown oh this poor truck Go ahead and head to the back right now. See exactly how bad it is. There's the old Dodge. You know what? We might have to go around this way. Come on. Oh, there she is. Oh man. Well, I thought I was gonna be able to pull it out today. Man, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow definitely and pull it out. Oh man, poor truck. Oh, let's see how bad it is in there. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like no weather got in there at all. Still, just like how I remember it. Man. All right. Well, yeah, that is way worse than I thought. I'm going to have to see if I can get some help tomorrow because I'm going to have to move this Dodge, but I'm going to have to pull that parts truck. Anyone need any parts for that Dodge? And then hopefully get back there and get it, maybe get it to some dry ground. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Got out here pretty early. Got the good old, god dang, already got her dirty. Got the good old seven tree out here. We're gonna go ahead and yank this Dodge out of our way cause we don't need it here. And then hopefully I can get back there to get my Chevy. Don't know, I don't even know if this is gonna work. It's gonna be a process. Got them 14 wides with them 12 inch tires. Yes sir, boy. Uh, so let's just see how it goes guys. I doubt I'm gonna be able to do this by myself, but you know what, we're gonna give it a shot. Um, here we go.
What's up, guys? So I finally got the truck out. It took me all day. Messed my whole entire truck up. It's going to need a wash now. But boom, there she is. Man, I'm so excited to do this. There was a rat nest in there. I have no idea what they chewed up. Kind of nervous. Or is that a snake's nest? I don't even know. Either way, I'm pretty nervous. It's got a battery. I'm hyped. I can charge it, crank it, see exactly what's wrong with it, and go from there. It's got the good old V6 in it. And we still have to diagnose it and see what's wrong with it. Or I'm so excited. My ultimate goal with the truck to make it to a Cletus 2020, maybe, probably not, 2021 event and uh, run the truck. You know, just, you know, follow follow a passion. You know, I love cars. I love everything about them. I, I was raised around them. So I just want to, I want to do it. So... That's where I'm going to end it off, guys. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe. And continue to follow the build. Thanks, y'all.